walking in obedience, water baptism. Once you have found a church home, it is important to start walking towards taking a very important step in declaring your faith and obedience to the Word of God and going through the believer's water baptism. Matthew 28, 18-20 says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me, and in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Baptism is first introduced in Matthew 3 verses 2 to 12, when John the Baptist began his ministry as the forerunner of Jesus Christ. John preached a simple message to the Jews that they were to repent of their sins in preparation for the coming kingdom, which meant the appearance of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. John's baptism was a baptism for the Jews. Prior to Jesus' ascension back into heaven, he gave the command to his disciples to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This instituted what is referred to as believers or Christian baptism. You don't get baptized for salvation. It is an act of obedience to God that you fulfill after salvation. The Bible is clear that we are saved and receive salvation by grace through faith in Jesus, not by works. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 says, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For example, the thief on the cross next to Jesus in Luke 23 received salvation through belief in Jesus, even though he was not baptised. Believer's baptism is taught in the New Testament as being a symbol or a picture of what has happened in the life of the person who, by faith, has believed in Jesus Christ and has been saved by His grace. It is an illustration of what has taken place in the new believer's heart, which cannot be outwardly observed when a person is saved. Salvation is followed by a public testimony of a person's belief in Jesus Christ through water baptism. Baptism is a picture of the gospel. That pictures the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thus, being baptised by full immersion in water, the believer visually shows the spiritual death, burial and resurrection of the believer's life. Who can be baptised? The Bible is clear on a believer's baptism. Anyone who has received salvation after professing faith in Jesus, his death on the cross, his resurrection, and who has repented of their sins and has received forgiveness of their sins, can be baptised. See Mark chapter 16 verse 16 and Acts chapter 2 verse 38. Many ask, is there an age limit to those who can be baptised according to the scriptures? It is important to follow what the Bible says regarding the age of someone who can be baptised. There is no explicit mention of infant baptism or an exact age of baptism. However, scripture is clear that we are to repent and be baptised. Therefore, that person must personally know Jesus as their saviour and have an understanding of turning away from their sins. Young children and infants cannot have that understanding, therefore we do not believe it is necessary for them to be baptised until they have made the decisions for themselves to follow Jesus Christ. What happens when we are baptised? We need to consider both the physical and spiritual here. What happens physically? You are fully immersed in water. The Greek word baptizo, which the English Bible has translated into baptize, means to submerge. Therefore, any other method besides this full submersion does not fit with the meaning of baptism. For example, sprinkling of water or use of holy water as part of baptism. The symbolism of death, burial and resurrection of Christ also has to be considered, namely death and burial, going down into the water fully, and resurrection coming up out of the water. 
what happens spiritually. The Bible is clear that water baptism is a spiritually significant time in a believer's life. In Jesus' baptism, the Holy Spirit descended like a dove and God spoke. Have a look at Luke 3 and Matthew 3. It's a spiritual statement that you are committed to following Christ. Water baptism and Holy Spirit baptism are often linked in scripture. Take a look at Luke 3, Matthew 3, Acts 2 verse 38 and Acts 10 verses 47 and 48. Thanks for listening to this segment from our J Revolution program. During times of darkness, struggle and soul sickness, we can often question the meaning of life. To understand the true meaning of life, you first need to understand how you are made as a human being, as well as key spiritual foundations and principles you need to apply to your life. Find truth, peace and fulfillment and experience true transformation with the J Revolution program. You can access our full program online or sign up to an upcoming face-to-face -face or webinar on www.jrevolution.net forward slash program. Our program is totally free for anyone, anywhere to complete.